YouTubers, it's Randy Darkshade here. I'll talk to you about a little collection I have of my road lamps or barricade lamps. Let's bear with me to see what we're doing now. Um, I've got several videos on YouTube already, but I thought I'd talk through the collection to practice looking like an idiot and talking to a camera. Uh, here I've got two Dorman Trophy lamps, metal body. I remember seeing these many years ago on the sides of the road. And some people probably remember stealing them. There's another one that's a little rougher. I think I paid a pound for that one at a car boot sale. Don't be surprised what you find at car boot sales. Two Dorman Uni lamps. One with the lemon lens. But actually, I lied. This one with the lemon lens is not a Dorman uni lamp. It's a cheap knockoff. It looks identical but there's nothing, no Dorman name or anything on that one. This one's a genuine Dorman uni lamp. Oops, sorry, getting a bit close with the camera. Okay, it's in good condition. It's brand new actually that one. And we've got another my um collection of Dorman traffic lamps. which I don't know why, but they are my favourite style. As you can see, these are British Rail lamps. I'm not sure what CDAC means, or why it's got top lamp on that one, bottom lamp on that one, but they plug together with this plug. You put two 6 volt lamp and batteries in this one, and when you turn this one on, both come on and they flash. And they are both Red lens one side, amber the other side. Lenses do not turn on these. I have been told they were used when work was being carried out on the line. They'd be placed before and after the area where the work was being carried out on the line. I don't know if that's true. And here's another variation of the same type of lamp. Amber lens one side, but it's got solid lump of plastic on the other side. The lens on that one does turn and it's got a little reflective circle there. This one is an X fire brigade lamp. Blue lens that side. Amber the other side. And that one is static. I believe. And so is that one. Um then there's this one, the Dorman Highlight. Again, this one requires two 6 volt batteries. It won't run on one. Blue both sides, very bright. Used by the police to mark incidents and RTCs, etc. One of my favourites and probably one of the most expensive ones in the collection. Uh, there's another Dorman Traffy Light. Very marked and well used. And there's two of the first versions of them. And these are based on the American Dietz Company. Dietz made a light very the same as this, and I believe Dorman Smith produced it over here in England. Um, with the rights from Dietz. We'll see what it says on the little label. Under license from Dietz. There you go. I've got two of those. Up here I've got a lot of JSP lamps and a couple of Kildorn and a couple of others up there. That's the JSP Maxi Light Mark 1. A couple of Mark IIs. The only version I haven't got is the LED version. JSP, John Stone Safety Products, still produce these with an LED version. That is a very old JSP lamp. Very hard to get now. I've just got to watch my battery on the camera because there's not a lot left. Uh, and we've got two of these Tildorns. 
I believe Eastern Electricity, when that was around years ago, used these. Uh, can't remember. It's what this one is. Can't do everything one-handed here. We'll hold the camera. Now, supplied by Bachelor of Ivor. Visibility. I don't know who made the visit visibility or what BLW stand for. So, uh, Non-rotatable lens. That's old. Apparently that one's early 1980s. I've got this one, which is a Renix, which is um, made in Ireland. And in case anyone's wondering, I did purchase all of these on eBay over a period of a couple of years. Uh, can't remember what this brand is. I think it's a Parker. Some good condition, brand new condition. I believe that's brand new when I bought it on eBay. And then up there, where I can't quite reach, we've got. I'll start that in. They're all JSPs. The mini lights. Then first two are st first three, sorry, are static. And this one with the black label is a flashing version. They've also got a. Um, uh, what do you call it? Light sensor in them. Photo sensor. Photo cell, that's the one. In them. And there's a... I can't remember what that one is without looking at it. There's an honest JSP. Let's have a look. Is that the micro light that they call this one? Yeah, the micro light. And there's a tilde on pilot. And the doorman. I can't remember what this doorman's called. Hang on. Are you with me? The eco light. I don't have a very good memory with some of these. I don't have a very good memory full stop. Anyway, that's a quick talk through of what I've got here. If we go through to the bedroom, where I've got more. It's going to go dark for a minute. Hang on. There we go, bit of light on the subject. We have on here a few more and some junk. Um, a lamp, I believe, was made for BT, but BT backed out. Uh, that's in two Nissans, a blue Nissan minus its base. I can actually work that one with a 9 volt battery. I've modified it so it works with a 9 volt battery. And there's a paraffin lamp hiding behind that. I'm not sure of the brand of that one. It just needs a wick and some paraffin, and that'll work. And this one is a Kenyans. I paid £10 for at a car boot sale. Someone's repainted it, and they've done it with a hand brush, so if you get close enough, you can see the brush strokes. But it's not a bad paint job, in my opinion. Still a nice lamp to display, and a bargain at £10 as well. They go for more than that on eBay. Um, so I was pretty pleased to get that one. Yeah, that is my collection of lamps so far, and that's excluding all the other maxi lights I've got down in the shed. Uh, let's go back to the, bed to the bedroom. No, nope, the lounge. I'm already in the bedroom. I think that's it. Thanks for watching.